In this video, I just want to cover some of the different formatting choices for numbers in calc. To start, I will enter in some values. And then for time, I'll put in 9.05. And let's start looking at time. You can see I entered in 9.05, and it automatically assumed I was talking 9.05 AM. To enter the time for the afternoon, um, what you should do is enter the time in using 24-hour format. 24-hour format basically takes any time after 12 noon and adds 12 hours to it. So for example, this is 9.05 a.m. If we wanted to display 9.05 p.m., we would add 12 hours to the 9, and it would be 21.05. So if I type in 21.05, you can see it changes it to 9.05 p.m. Right-click on the cell and go to Format Cells. You can see for the time choice, there are many different choices we can elect to display conventional time without seconds or we can change the cell to 24 hour time and it's back to 21.05 um, for the date you saw I entered the date in as 3.28.13 if you right click on the date and format cells it knows I entered a date and we can have it spell out the full date we can have it abbreviate the month or abbreviate the year. And you can see as I click on here, this gives a preview of what it will do. We can have the day, month, and year show up. But for this example, I think we will go with the three letter abbreviation for the month plus the day plus the full year written out. But again, there are many choices if you scroll up and down the list. For currency, we can do the same thing. Right click, format cells. For currency, it will put in a dollar sign for us, but then we have a choice of how many decimal points do we want. Do we want zero decimal places, or do we want to have two decimal places as we would conventionally find in our dollars and cents um, way of displaying currency. We can elect to um, display negative values in black or negative values in red. And often doing negative values in red is a good way to highlight when a business lose, loses money, for example, and kind of Standard practice would be any negative dollar value would be displayed in red and anything above zero would be displayed in black. So we will um, select the one with two decimal places displayed in red and click OK. And you know, to test it, so this is $10.53. If we, if we say we're gonna, we lost $20.45, you can see it does display it in red and put a minus sign in front of it. To convert a decimal number to percent, right click, um, format cells, and again you have percent, and you can elect to percent with two decimal places or round it to no decimal places. And then under options, you can reduce the number of decimal places and choose to have negative numbers in red, for example. So I'll have one place after the decimal, one place after the decimal, click OK, and you see it's 23.0%. And then regular number formatting. <clears throat> um, we can have general format, or we can elect to have no decimal places or two decimal places. And again, we can increase the number of decimal places or decrease the number of decimal places as we want. We can have negative numbers display in red. So I'll click OK, two decimal places, click OK. 
and you can see we have 13 with two decimal places in red. If we want to test the format, 12 is a positive number and it displays in black. So this is just some of the many choices we have when formatting different types of numbers in calc.